Okay, now we are going to do the beams. The beams look very similar to columns, but they are labeled beams. These are going to go across between the columns to provide more support for your paper roller coaster. So again, there are two beams um, for each sheet of paper. So we're gonna cut along the solid line in the middle so that we get two separate beams. Then you're going to score it just like you did the column. So again, get a magazine or book, put it underneath your paper. Take a straight edge, a ruler or a book, whatever you have, and you do need a pen. And you are going to trace these dotted lines all the way down. You want to press firmly and you want to make sure when you flip over the paper, you can actually feel um, the line that you just made with the pen. If you don't feel it, you need to press more firmly. Um, this will help give your beams nice straight lines once you fold them. So we're gonna trace all of these dotted lines, score them nice and firmly. And then for the beams, you're gonna come over to both ends. There's going to be a very thin dotted line. You're going to trace that on one end and on the other end, just like that. Now let's fold it. So use those lines that you should be able to feel through your paper to make the folds for your beam. One more. Okay, and then you wanna come over to the ends and where you drew those lines as well, you wanna create a fold on both of the ends. Then fold it all together. And again, you're going to take some tape and you are going to fold and tape your beam together, just like the columns, I normally use about three pieces of tape. Once you have that done, on both ends, you're gonna cut up to the solid line right here. You're going to cut um, on the dotted line so that you have flaps. You wanna do that on both ends of your beam. This is what you're going to use to attach this to your column. So now your beam is done and you're going to attach this to the columns that are on your base. So here is an example of a column right here. What you're going to do is you take these flaps and you're going to push them around the column like that. So you've got one at the top, one flap at the bottom and two that wrap around the sides. And then you're going to tape this. Get some more pieces of tape. But then you're basically going to tape and attach that beam to the column. And this is gonna provide more rigidity and more support for your paper roller coaster so that it's not flopping around. Okay, so that's what the beams look like. You would then take this side and attach it to another column, and you'll keep doing that until you have the height and the width of the roller coaster that you would like.